Hey guys, Frank here. Welcome back to the shop. Just decided I'm gonna do a test lift with the forklift. I had um, in a previous video lifted four or five hundred pounds of transmissions, but I was struggling to come up with something that weighed a thousand pounds to test the capacity of the lift, and I realized I do have a thousand pounds. I have my sheet steel rack here, and I realize I probably have enough in here to uh, test it out. And I can pick up this rack from the side. So uh, spin it around, pull the forklift up here, and see if we can pick up this rack of steel. Based on what I have in here, I have two pieces of three eighths, two pieces of a quarter, part of a piece of three sixteenths, several pieces of um, one piece of eighth inch, several pieces of um, sixteen gauge. Um, I don't know what this is. One thirty second of an inch. This is half of a sixteenth, thirty thousandths. Actually, there's three pieces of it there. Anyway, so I've added all this up, and it comes to. Uh, 1,050 pounds, actually not t not counting this p half a sheet of 3 16 So 1,100 pounds plus the rack, maybe another 50 pounds. You know, so it's 11, 1,200 pounds total weight, which, you know, our design rating for the forklift was 1,000 pounds. That was our calculation based on the the counterbalance, the counterweight that we added. So we were saying a thousand pounds. So that was the design for the forklift. So let's see what it does.
was, I have to say, the forklift was right at its maximum. Uh, picking it up brought the rear wheels just to the point of coming off the ground. So I would say that the uh, absolute limit, you know, is going to be right at a thousand pounds for this. Uh, the forklift which was our design uh, design lift capacity thousand pounds now I could add a couple more I could add a little more counterweight here I could add two or three more plates which I might do that would give me another um, 50 pounds here which would give me another 200 pounds capacity up here so um, we've met the design parameters for the forklift in terms of its lift capacity of a thousand pounds but just just barely so um, probably could use another 50 pounds 100 pounds of counterweight and that would give me you look at the difference in distance between the rear axle and halfway out on the forks, that's say two feet or two and a half feet. We, we called it 30 inches in our calculations compared to there and the weight out on the other side. So it's about twice the distance. So for every pound we add as counterweight, we pick up two pounds of capacity. So if we add another 100 pounds, four more pieces of steel, which we could, I think, fit on that rack. We could pick up another, um, you know, 200 pounds of lift capacity. The hydraulics have no problem lifting it. The hydraulics weren't even affected. I mean, the capacity of the hydraulics is thousands of pounds. Anyway, so that's where we are on a, a full capacity lift on the forklift. Uh, got some work to do on my lawn mower. This is my main mower and I don't want to sidetrack the, the video, but this is my 108 that I've had since 1979. So that's what, 45, 44 years. It's a 1972, so it's 51 years old. It has a new a replacement engine and I rebuilt. It's got a 12 horsepower, so really it should be a 128, but I mean, it's a 108 originally. So it originally came with a 10 horsepower engine. Got a 12 in it now. Got a 44 inch mower deck on. I'm getting ready to take the mower deck off, sharpen the blades, put it back on, get it, grease it up, get it ready for the upcoming season here. So, all right, that was a successful test lift of the, uh, Cub Cadet forklift, and uh, I think uh, based on our original design, it's met the design parameters, though um, just just barely. So, okay.
All right, so that is a, another test lift using the, the forklift to pick up a, another Cub Cadet. This is my 108, which is my weekly mower. I took the deck off. I took the mowing deck off. It's in the shop. I'm going to service it, for get ready for the season. But as you can see, it picked it up. Now these uh, Cub Cadet tractors weigh uh, 700 and... 50, 800 pounds. This one has fluid in the rear tires, so that's another 100 pounds. So 850, 900 pounds. Uh, and so the forklift didn't have any issue picking that up. Uh, so that just, that was one of my uh, objectives is being able to pick up one of these tractors with the forklift. I have uh, crazy ideas of putting pallet racking in um, my other building, my other garage, and stacking. I have seven Cub Cadets over there and stacking them, you know, at least one layer off the floor. Have, a, you know, a row on the floor, a sh shelf above them, and be able to put another row on the shelf to clear up some floor space. So that was one of my original ideas as far as building a, a forklift, was to be able to stack my <laughs> tractor collection, or at least part of it. So uh, it accomplished that, um, 800, 850 pounds for the tractor, something like that, 11 or 1200 for that rack of steel, which I think put the, put the forklift at its limit in terms of counterweight. I think I will add another couple sheets. Next time I have a piece of 3 8 on the plasma table and, and cutting it out, cutting stuff out of it, I'll cut a couple more sheets, drop them in that rack. I think I have room for three or four more. I'll try to get four in there, give me 100 pounds, give me another 200 pounds of capacity, you know, on the forks with a little margin of, margin of safety. So, all right, that's it for this short little demonstration video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.